Let's talk for a few minutes about the difference between a nerve and a neuron. Now, let's start with a neuron. A neuron is a single nerve cell. Now, we have billions and billions of nerve cells in our bodies, but one nerve cell is very tiny in, in breadth. So a nerve cell can be anywhere from, say, uh, 1 to 20 microns. We're talking millionths, millionths of a meter. So you can't even see that, right? And, and yet they can be very long. So a nerve cell can be, you know, basically from your, from your sacrum all the way down to your toes. So that can be a couple feet, several feet, right? So the, the neuron consists of its cell body here and its dendrites, looks a lot like these leaves actually, the dendrites, which are sort of reaching out to communicate with other nerve cells. And then the neuron has its axon, which is the long, the long skinny part. Like I said, it can go for, you know, go from, you know, here to your fingertips, so it, it can go quite a long ways. And it can be potentially wrapped in a sheath, a myelin sheath, which is kind of a connective tissue cell that can increase the sort of communication speed along the axon, which ultimately is synapsing <clears throat> to some distant fiber, uh, say a muscle fiber or, or, or a thousand muscle fibers. Uh, and so that, that's a nerve cell. So then what's a nerve? A nerve doesn't refer to a single neuron ever. A nerve refers to a bundle, a, a, a bundling of axons whose nerve cell bodies may be at a distance, say in the ganglia of the spinal nerves running along your spine here. The ganglia being groupings of nerve cell bodies, of neural, neuronal bodies whose axons then proceed from the ganglion as a group bundled in what we call a nerve, say a spinal nerve. So the spinal nerves themselves are really like an, a little organ. The organ has nerve tissues and connective tissues. It has vasculature. It has microvasculature because it can't live without being in relationship to the heart, right? So. What you see here then is the many, 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 many axons bundled together, fed with microvasculature, embedded in sort of perifascial membranous tissues with a fibrous sleeve embedded in more perifascial type membranous connective tissues. And that, that bundling we call a nerve, and that can be quite large. It could be as big as your thumb or your pinky finger, uh, you know, the, the nerves running out of your neck are quite large, uh, the, the trunks of the brachial plexus or, or, or perhaps the sciatic nerve literally is that big. So that represents not a grouping of nerve cell bodies, that's the job of a ganglion, but the nerve rather represents a grouping of axons bundled together to go to a distant place and communicate uh, as a group or, or to distribute along the way. So for instance, the femoral the femoral nerve at your leg is going gonna, is gonna to emerge here from deeper in the pelvis and then distribute as it goes along the way and, and the nerves will get sort of smaller and smaller as they branch like on any tree. So from an integral anatomy perspective, when we use the word nerve, you know, we're referring to a, a grouping of tissues, a complex, an organ structure as it were, that involves many different tissue types, the epithelia of the, uh, of the tunics of its vasculature uh, penetrating in every dimension, the, the, the bed of fascia and slippery membranes that it's living in, um, the grouping of neural tissues as of axons uh, all together. So a nerve is like an organ, whereas a neuron is kind of a, a mental construct that never lives alone. Even the neuron itself, as we see, isn't, isn't expressing only a single kind of tissue. The neuron can, is, is having connective tissue as well. 
So I'm trying to sort of de-abstract both a neuron and a nerve for you to place them in a relationship because our mental constructs of nerves are this abstract thing where it's like the brain is all powerful, the nerve is reaching out and, and as the master controller of the body or something. Uh, this is quite ridiculous uh, of a concept when in fact we have only complexes of multiple types of tissues uh, functioning as a group in relationship to other tissues, in relationship to hormones, in relationship to um, the, the context, the cellular context to which they're arriving. So you're never working on a neuron when you're doing body work. You're never working just on, a, uh, when you say a nerve, working on the nervous system. You're always working on the whole person, the whole body. You can only touch the whole person and the whole body while simultaneously you can become extremely specific in your touch and create you know, tactile relationships to these tissues which uh, facilitate our health. So there's an integral anatomy spin on neuron and nerve. I'm hoping to complexify your understanding a little bit uh, so that we're maybe more realistic in our ideas about how and what we touch. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to study more with me, go to gilheadley.com. There's a ton of stuff there. Enjoy.